Daily Dose of Daryl entitled This Day. As you look at this rock formation in Australia, I was fortunate to be able to visit Tasmania and see this formation. It was formed one day at a time, and each of those days were very important. Many generations didn't see it like this. It took a long time to take place. This day is important. As I prepare this daily dose, it's November the 2nd. And in 1734 on this day, Daniel Boone was born. In 1755, Marie Antoinette, Queen of France, was born. On this same day in 1795, James Polk, 11th President of the United States, was born. In 1865, Warren G. Harding was born. In 1913, Burt Lancaster, Academy Award-winning American actor, was born. And in 1936, Rose Elizabeth Byrd, the first female California Supreme Court Chief Justice, was born. This day in history, November 2nd, was very important. This Daily Dose of Daryl will air on November the 3rd. And this day, November 3rd, can be very significant in history. But as we look at November the 2nd, in 1637, John Harvard arrived in Charlestown, Massachusetts, Bay Colony. His donation to a newly established college set the school on a firm foundation. In 1639, it was named Harvard College. 1721, the Russian Senate elevated Peter the Great from Tsar to Emperor. Then in 1920, on this day, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania radio station, KDKA, resulted the 1920 presidential race, first significant radio broadcast. Then in 1939, on this day, Nazi German dictator Adolf Hitler's Minister of Propaganda, Joseph Goebbels, visited Lutz Pullen. Of the city's 200,000 Jews, he reported, they were no longer people, but beasts. Here, one must make a radical incision, otherwise Europe will be ruined by the Jewish sickness. Can you imagine a leader in this world talking about other people that way? I know that you know many people from the Jewish background. I have relatives from the Jewish background, and yet Hitler talked to the world about those people this way. It's amazing. On this day in 1948, in the greatest upset in U.S. presidential election history, Democratic incumbent Harry S. Truman defeats Republican challenger Governor Thomas E. Dewey of New York by just over two million votes. Long before all the votes were counted, the Chicago Tribune published an early edition with the banner headline, Dewey defeats Truman. And so you see, had that not taken place, I would have been born when Dewey was president and not Truman. So it makes a difference. Each day makes a difference. This day makes a difference. And this day can make a big difference in the history of the world and in our each of our own lives. I found out that Planet Fitness has taken this day to put up signs and it's called social fitnessing instead of social distancing. I really like that. Also on this day, people were giving donations of blood to help others. People at the fire department were doing a variety of things. Visiting people at hospice, I decided that the people there were making a difference in lives on this day. Various restaurants were making a difference in lives as they crank back up and share food with people properly. I, on the other hand, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I made a big difference in the world, but salvaging those two hot dogs and creating some wonderful desserts made a big difference in my life. Now, I hope each of us will have some fun, but yet realize this day is important in what we do, and what we say, and how we behave. This is Daily Dose of Dale's segment entitled This Day. Each day that comes to us is so important and comes to us one at a time. How we live this day makes a difference in our lives and to the world around us. Make it count. I'm Daryl R. Peebles. Give me a call, send an email, 
but now go out and have a great day. Make it a great day. It is the only one you have. God has blessed you this day. Therefore, bless others.